Congratulations on your new Scribbler robot. Today I'm going to show you how to download a simple blocky prop program onto the S3. But before I do that, I'm going to take you on a little tour of this little robot's features. The Scribbler is equipped with some useful sensors, one of them being an IR object detection sensor that can be used to detect objects and navigate around them. It also has a light following sensor that can detect light, which makes it good for your light following projects. On the bottom of the Scribbler, there is a line following sensor for your line following and navigation projects. Towards the rear of the Scribbler, there are three indicator LEDs that can be used to provide you with visual feedback. For example, when one of the sensors detects an object on the left or the right of the robot. The speaker on the top is great for adding sound to your projects. Towards the rear of the robot, you'll have a red power button and a blue reset button used for restarting a program already loaded into your Scribbler. The rear USB connector connects your robot to the PC and allows you to load a program onto your S3 while charging at the same time. The first thing you want to do is go to this link and register for Blockly Prop if you haven't done so already. Connect the supplied USB cable from your PC into the Scribbler USB port. Doing this will also turn your robot on at the same time, so it's a good idea to turn the robot on its side so that it doesn't take off when you load a program that makes it move. And if you're not ready to load a program, you can simply turn the scribbler off by pressing the red power button. Now we're ready to load a program and get started with the S3 tutorials. I'm logged into Blockly, which is the program environment of choice for this robot, and have selected the S3 platform. Here on the screen, I have a simple program that makes the S3 move forward. Check the upper right hand side of the software to make sure you see your robot's COM port and then select the button with a downward arrow and a white line underneath it. You'll see a dialog window telling you the download is in progress and when it has completed. Now you're ready to tackle the S3 tutorials found at the link below. And that's it! You've loaded your first Blocky Prop program onto the S3. For more questions, please call our tech support line or you can shoot us an email at support at parallax.com.